Okay, this is a video on how I got Twonky to work with my Logitech Review Honeycomb 3.1. As you can see on the screen there, I have the Twonky app already installed. Uh, there is a free version of it that gives you a 14-day trial. Um, but after that trial, you need to purchase it. I think it's $3. Uh, you leave the trial app on there and you download the paid version. And then it will give you uh, licensing and and then access to Twonky again. So uh, let's go ahead and kind of just go through the steps and setting it up. So I click on Twonky. It's uh, connecting to media. Uh, it usually takes a few seconds or so. Um, basically, uh, you know, I've already installed this, so my Wi-Fi network has already been established. Um, but basically what it says is set the media types that you would like to share on this network. And obviously you'd like to share everything and I would like it to remember this network so I don't have to keep on uh, typing in my code so uh, then you hit done and basically what it's doing now is just connecting uh, really kind of easy uh, the only thing is this they give you this next page here Twonky lets you beam video music and photos to your TV stereo and more uh, you know that's like single sending type you know I, I don't know the I don't know the, the vocabulary when it comes to all this stuff so I don't do anything with it. I just hit next, and it shows me where I can stream from using Twonky. Twonky picks up Windows 7 when you turn on your DLNA on your laptop, so uh, that's a nice thing. And with this, with Twonky, you can share files from phone to PC and PC to phone as well uh, through Wi-Fi. So that's kind of nice to have, um, you know. So anyway, so we go into that. Hit next. And we obviously I want to share things and this is where you would actually use uh, the PC to phone phone to PC sharing through this menu on in, in the actual Twonky app um, other than that then you're going to you're going to use uh, Logitech you're going to use Logitech's uh, media player to access your phone content so let's go ahead and do that now Okay, now that you have your Twonky app installed on your phone and you're connected to the review, you can go into your review. Uh, you want to go into your apps, obviously. Go down into your media player. Um, and I, as you can see on there, I'm already connected to the Twonky. Um, I've already previously done all this, so I'm just kind of going through the motions. Uh, basically, I just go to media sources and it should come up there and there it is. Um, you would connect it just like you would connect anything else that has DLNA, and you'd go into it. So let's back out of here. Um, back out of here again. And basically, you can just hook it up and play it any old way you want. Uh, I don't know if it's me or if maybe I don't really, really understand the, the process with the new media player. But I'm having issues with being able to just play all tracks shuffled without starting a uh, without starting a um, a playlist. Uh, it seems as if I can't play my my media content without going through a playlist and not being able to shuffle all tracks. So I, I don't really understand if it's on me or if this is a huge oversight. Um, through Google or Logitech. So uh, if anybody out there that can help me with that, I would greatly appreciate that. So let's go ahead and just kind of pick on a song here real quick. And let's pick whatever. And it plays it. See, but now you go into all ages and it's going through all the, you know, the, the, the genres and things like that. But then when you go and hit play it, it goes into this playlist, and then it will only play the things in the playlist from here on. So there's no, you know, there's no carrying on with the song or carrying on with other songs or you know being able to shuffle your your whole library in one shot. Um, and I don't want to sit here and make playlists all day. I'd really like to use it for a party where I just kind of turn it on, go to all tracks or whatever it is, and play it, and and that'll be the end of it. Um, so again, I, I ask this question again, if there's anybody out there that's figured this out, 
please post something or you know you know hit me up on here and, and maybe we can figure this out uh, but other than that uh, please read the description before the video to kind of go through the steps of setting up Twonky and uh, thank you Bye. okay what I want to do here now is go through the steps um, I was having some issues with disconnecting and reconnecting Twonky from review um, as well as issues with not being able to close application um, so what I had done is I fooled around with it and I went into my uh, I went into my uh, manage applications menu which I'll do right now um, go into applications manage apps and then you want to click on the twonky you want to click on the original application I'll give it a second here for these to load um, You don't want to click on the mobile license. You want to click on the Twonky, the original application you went for. Um, and, I, you know, it doesn't happen all the time, but every once in a while it will happen. So I force stop it, and then I also clear the data on it. And that seems to fix it whenever it does happen. It hasn't happened often, but when it has, this is what I did, and it worked. Uh, so to have all the features that Twonky gives you, to have this as a, is, is one of the only problems, um, then I definitely think that that's worth it. So. Uh, there you go.